Jacob says nobody knows for sure what will happen in the stock market. So everyone needs to do their own DD. Very well said. I totally agree. Those who have studied AMC closely, though, see it's shorted more than any other company, and the company is improving fundamentally. In many ways, it is. That is not a recipe for success for shorts, especially given the price is so low. Now, what's crazy about this statement is that you don't need to be a stock market genius. Just using basic logic, I would have to say that he's completely right and that I agree. Let's do some quick AMC swift calculation. I like this. 10,474 cinema screens times 225 seats per person. 90% screen occupancy, 4 showings per day, 4 days per week. 5 weeks errors run, $20 a ticket, 43% AMC's take. That equals 1.4 plus billion. Get ready, apes. This apes is shorts realizing now that they're up against a formidable enemy. One with unlimited time, an unbreakable conviction, exceptional research abilities, and growing reach, AMC. This ape says it's just like 2008, but this time it's synthetic stock, over leveraged firms, corruption, and complacency. And this is a picture of the cover of the big short. This ape down below said it's much, much, much worse than 2008. And it is pretty interesting because in 2008, the market and the economy had a whole slew of problems. And although maybe those exact problems aren't necessarily what we're going through now, we have our own problems as of now, and there's quite a lot of them. But comment down below in your opinion. I want to know what you think. Is 2008, or are we right now, in a worse position? This ape says the message is the most important thing to the AMC movement. They cannot stop a dividend if we raise the capital. All we have to do is go see movies, eat popcorn, buy merch, buy soda, watch our movies on Vudu, and advertise our products and services like A-List is using. And if all of that is to happen, just watch the money printer go burr. Comment down below if you are still in this play, and if you believe that this is the way for AMC to reach greatness. This says PSA, if you are using Robinhood, there cannot be an outcome where you end happy. Time and time again, they show their cards. If you're using them, you will be disappointed. You will lose an opportunity at wealth. They are not on AMC side, and there have been too many canaries in the coal mine to serve any more as a warning. So this is a good topic to go over, especially from an ape like myself that actually used to use the Robinhood app. Years and years ago, when I first learned about the stock market and got involved, I downloaded the Robinhood app and bought some shares on it. Because of its ease of use and because kind of everyone was using it, I didn't see that there was any sort of problem. But years ago, when Robinhood took away the buy button, I knew that I had to transfer all of my shares outside of Robinhood, and I did so immediately. Now again, whatever brokerages you guys want to use, please do your own due diligence and pick wisely. But be careful. In my opinion, not all brokerages are created equal. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.